It's Troy and welcome to another video and today I want to talk about why it is important, indeed imperative, to cultivate an extreme degree of self-love, an almost absurd degree of self-love. In fact, if you want to get the traction that you deserve and you know that desire in the current dating marketplace. So this is part of the series of post-lockdown videos that I'm doing just to help you to ease back into socializing, ease back into the game and the game of life indeed, really the game of social life if you, if you like. So what do I mean by this de huge degree of self-esteem? Well, fundamentally, I think a lot of us walk around with this misplaced idea that we are less than, we are somehow inferior to other people, we're certainly inferior to the opposite sex, you know, we don't measure up to some sort of like societal standard of what coolness is meant to be, how we're meant to look, how we're meant to behave, etc, 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 right, and um, that is basically a load of nonsense and you need to you need to eradicate that from your thinking and you need to instead instill in yourself this, this, this idea that you are awesome, that you are cool. Now, what the reality of it is, objectively, is another matter, but that's almost less important than how you actually feel about it, okay? So, because here's the thing, right? If you can go around wandering around as if you are like, you know, I'm awesome, I'm God's gift, etc., etc., then people are going to buy into that to a certain extent. Not everyone's going to buy into it. You've still got to do the work. You've still got to improve yourself 100%. That There's no getting around that. But at the same time, if you walk around with that huge, unstoppable confidence, that's going to take you a lot further than if you just walk around going, oh my God, I'm just so rubbish and nobody likes me and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, if you've got to err on one side or the other, err on the side of being too big for your boots, err on the side of being big headed, err on the side of being arrogant, in fact, because that is going to play better for you in a social situation than not. Okay. And I found this in my own life. You know, I found that coming from a background of being very, low self-esteem, not thinking well of myself and everything else, when I started to, when I just kind of flipped it, and that happened for a number of reasons, largely because I was um, drinking and doing a lot of naughty substances at the time, my whole mindset kind of kind of shifted. And suddenly I was walking around with this kind of arrogant, cocky air to me. And the, the way people were reacting to me, it was, it was incredible. It was just so different. And nothing about me intrinsically had changed. You know, I wasn't better looking, I wasn't taller, I wasn't, wasn't wearing cooler clothes, uh, I didn't have more money, none of that kind of stuff. It was just that because of the way that I was carrying myself, people were buying into that. And so what you project, other people will accept and they'll buy into a lot of the time. So I've got some key ways now that you can help to achieve this ridiculous, overly inflated sense of your own self-worth, if you like. Um... The first of those is simply you need to give yourself permission to do it, okay? And hopefully watching this video is going to be the way into that. You know, like after you've watched this, you sit down and go, right, okay, from today, I'm giving myself permission. I'm going to go into this new day or this new week or this new month with the solid conviction that I am awesome, that I am, in fact, you know, superior, to the people around me. I am the, I am the fucking king, right? And um, that objectively may or may not be reality at the moment, but I know my potential. I know what's good about me. I know what's awesome about me. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out there and I'm going to represent that uh, in front of other people. The second thing is to find or identify relevant role models, people that you like, that you look up to, and then mirror them. So, you know, if there's somebody whose behavior you like, you think they're cool, then, then study that person and say, right, okay, I'm now going to mirror that person. I'm going to take on their attributes. I don't mean just blindly copying them, but I mean, is there certain things that they do, like maybe the way they walk or the way that they hold eye contact or the way that they carry themselves when they walk into a room? Are there certain elements of their presentation and style that you can take on board yourself and you can utilize in your own presentation and style. So role models and modeling them, really, really key. Um, fake it till you make it. Now, this is an old chestnut. It, it always comes up in self-development sort of mindset videos like this one, but it, it works. I mean, this is the reality of it. Fake it till you make it. You know, you might not feel like you are that awesome guy. You might not feel like, you know, you are worthy of great acclaim and wide sort of um, applause from the you know the plebs surrounding you but but just act like it right because as I say the key thing here is is the way that people respond to it it's not so much whether it's objectively true or not at the moment although you are engaged in a process of self-development which means that 
A, you're ahead of 95% of the population, and B, your, your inherent worth is going to increase as time goes on anyway, so always remember that. But what's more important is how people buy into it and how they perceive you. And the truth of the matter is that people, by and large, not always, but a lot of the time, tend to believe kind of what they're told. So if your demeanor is telling other people that you are a high-value guy in all of these aspects, then you know, even if there are some holes in that story, it doesn't really matter because its perception is 99% of reality, basically. So it's how you carry yourself is important. Fake it till you make it. The other thing is, right, don't allow contrary evidence to enter into your thought process. So, you know, you could walk into the club and, so, and you could be walking with this kind of swagger, like, hey, man, I kind of own the place. And then somebody may say, Oh, that shirt looks really cheap. That's a that's a cheap and nasty shirt. I bet you bought that in Primark. Now, <clears throat> whether or not that's true, it doesn't really matter. The point of the fact is, you are not to allow other people to, to bring down your vibe, right? You're not to allow other people to be able to have a detrimental impact on the way that you feel about yourself. Any, contra- any evidence to the contrary that you are absolutely awesome, you just reject out of hand, okay? You just don't take it on board. It's just beyond the bounds of your reality, okay? Um, Only allow in evidence that supports the fact that you are awesome. Just disregard everything else, call it nonsense, spurn it, chuck it away. It doesn't matter. That stuff is irrelevant. It's not going to help you. Um, So ignore it and, and in fact, reject it, okay? No evidence to the contrary of the fact that you are an incredibly superior being. And the final thing, and this is another chestnut, is to have a mission. Now, again, we always bang on about that on this channel and in other self-development um, avenues or, or, or sort of um, channels or whatever. But you've got to have something else going on, right? Other than just trying to impress these people in this nightclub or trying to impress that girl in the cafe or trying to impress that girl in the library or whatever, wherever it is, right? You've got to have something else. You've got to have something fundamentally more important than that going on in your life. Because otherwise... You know, you are just a one-trick pony. Otherwise, you are perhaps being a little bit pathetic. You know, you're basing your validation on on what this random human being thinks of you, which is a nonsense, okay? You know, you've got to have something much more important than that going on, something that you're trying to build, a business, a project, a, an opera. Maybe you're, I don't know, you're, you're, you want to cycle the Tour de France. Maybe you want to be a racing driver. Maybe you want to be an astronaut. You know, you've got to have some big, big burning ambition that just overtakes everything else. And so then, you know, what some person at the cafe thinks of you, what the girl in front of you in the queue in Starbucks thinks of you, who really cares, right? It's irrelevant. It doesn't matter, okay? And that's where you want to get to. So ensure that in order to have that that overinflated self-esteem, that you, you give yourself permission to do so, that you find relevant role models and you moni- you men- uh, sorry you model them and if they can mentor you then that's even better fake it till you make it don't allow contrary evidence to come in and throw you off course and have a mission that is more important okay that is um, I hope helpful in terms of as we come out of this lockdown process the sort of mindset stuff that I want to put you to put into play because as you're out the- out and about you know hopefully the bar starts to open up again the club starts to open you know you're there I want you to have this mindset that you are you know, that you are awesome, that you are God's gift, right? As I say, whether that's objectively true or not is open to debate, but not by you. It's not open to debate by you because you completely believe it and you reject any evidence to the contrary. All right, so uh, tomorrow we're going to be coming back with some more advice on post-lockdown and how to ease back into socializing. In the meantime, please do subscribe to this channel. It really helps me out to get more people on board, spread the word, create more free content like this. Uh, what else? Uh, Renegade Dating Blueprint, which is my collection of books about dating and the dating scene. Link below, grab those. And yeah, get my daily email as well. Get onto my daily email. I send out a free email Monday to Friday to subscribers. Uh, it costs nothing. So ensure that you click on the link below to get on board with that as well. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.